Hey guys, just Gudamu here with another custom Gundam MSI review. I'm filming outside today so that uh, the true colors will show up. Natural sunlight. <coughs> Unfortunately, I live on the highway, so there'll be some cars going by. Can't be helped. This is my Leo Amphibious type. It's a custom. It's kind of a purplish color. It's built out of tall yeast parts. There's a big deal here I want to talk about. This head's resin casted. You can see the yellow mono eye, reticle, whatever. That's a yellow Sharpie. And in order to protect it from the dye, I tried a new experiment I read about where I put uh, scotch tape over it and I just cut it to match and it totally worked. So, uh, by the way, I'm also filming with a different camera because my wife broke the YouTube camera. Ah, it's okay. I almost broke it the same way several times though. So, uh, you have some soft edges there on the mono eye, but it's, it, it didn't take the dye. It's so cool. So it's built out of tall geese scraps. This is the under part of the tall geese shoulder and tall geese lower torso and feet had the paint removed. These are burning Gundam uh, forearm covers, Wing Zero custom forearm covers. Uh, they've been dyed black, RX-78. Uh, I think that's the version two. Uh, beam Javelin. Anyways, the idea is that this is an amphibious test type. Possibly an early version of the Leo that they decided to modify, you know, into being able to be underwater and above ground. And I imagine it shoots torpedoes out of here or maybe under from these or something, you know. It's kind of cool. I imagine it would probably be a failure too, like a lot of amphibious types in the One Year War actually were very unsuccessful with seals leaking and other stuff. However, I think the figure looks really cool. Because it's dyed, it's ready for play or display and play with it like a normal figure uh, rather than being worried about paint scrape. I'm going to be, this is up for trade or for sale. Um, I just enjoy making stuff, honestly. I had these scraps that were never going to be complete tall geeses. And I had some resin cast heads from Josh Cerna. Thank you, Josh Cerna. And so I just had a lot of fun. I've got four other Leo types, a recon slash sniper, a early type, and a space early type. And I have reviews for those as well. And all of them up for, are up for trade or sale. Catch you guys later.